I think increasingly people are realizing that the bottleneck in scaling AI isn't the compute anymore, it's the interconnect. And so that's the problem that Light Matter squarely focused on, which is really unlocking the connectivity to the chips, both in terms of bandwidth as well as the number of ports. And by doing that, decreasing the time uh, that's required to train new models, as an example. So we've made a couple of recent uh, breakthrough announcements on our photonic uh, technology that we call Passage. Uh, the first is that we're delivering photonic links that can carry as many as 16 wavelengths on a single fiber bidirectional traffic. So what this means in terms of scaling AI is that you can have a single fiber uh, escaping uh, up to 800 gigabits of traffic connecting to adjacent devices. You can connect multiple racks together in one scale up pod, dramatically reducing the amount of, uh, of time needed to train models. We also deliver the technology in the form of a, an active optical interposer. So you can actually build your entire chip complex directly on silicon photonics. Again, but that, what that allows us to do is escape a lot more IO, a lot more bandwidth out of the chip much more readily by not locking all of the signals to the shoreline of the chip. And we're doing it in robust fashion. So obviously uh, you need the, the basic functionality, but what we've proven is that the technology really works across real world data center environments. So with temperature aggressors, with polarization aggressors on the fibers, using very low cost single mode fiber. Uh, so it's, it's a really robust technology that, that again is the fundamental thing that we're unlocking really is the, the uh, ability to scale uh, these AI clusters much more efficiently and, and not have the interconnect be the bottleneck. What we've been able to do is overcome the initial skepticism, does this technology work? And now we're at the point of really uh, intercepting customers' product plans and release plans where they're at. So one of the ways that we're doing this are recognizing that a lot of the new designs are moving towards chiplet-based architectures is to provide our L-series offering. And what this is, is it's really a complete 3D co-packaged optics engine that takes an electrical IC, integrates it directly on top of silicon photonics, but it fits into the, the customer design using standard-based die-to-die uh, interfaces, including uh, UCIE, uh, which is very common in the industry. So using readily available packaging flows and technology standard packaging is supported uh, with a, a pre-developed electrical IC directly on top of photonics. We're allowing customers really to get to market much faster uh, in a fashion that doesn't cause them to have to dramatically change how they consume the technologies.